So let's get started. We have a couple of lights, let's call them working lights, so it's ambient light and directional light, so it's super simple lighting, but it helps us to understand and see the scene better. We have three primitives, so shape 3D set to a sphere, and two imported 3D objects. Here in the very bottom we have a floor setup. First note that I'm going to add to the scene is going to be a very regular light. Just like any other 3D node in Notch, light comes into the very center of the graph. So I'm just going to push it a little bit up and backwards so it actually starts to light up the objects in the scene. Right, I'm going to position it here a little bit to the side. So it hits the sphere. I don't really need ambient light or directional light anymore. I just want to see this specific light that I just built. I am manipulating this light with the shortcuts E, R, T, Y, by the way. E is the position, R is the rotation, and T and Y is different scaling options. We can change its transform, so positional and scale values. We can set the brightness and cone angle in this light, and various other properties that are handy in lighting. Uh, one thing that I would like to draw your attention to is casting shadows, so I'm going to enable that. Now notice that even if I enable the casting of shadows, it doesn't really work just yet, and there's a good reason for that. If we want to see shadows being casted, we have to come back to the root node and enable deferred rendering. So with the deferred rendering enabled, we definitely see shadows working. So now back to my light, I can actually reposition it and I can see how it affects the shadows. I can even tweak the softness of the shadows. So I'm going to push this light a little bit to the side. I'm going to give it the color, maybe something like cyan. And I'm going to grab yet another one. I'm going to connect it to the root. And I'm going to position it straight over this sphere right here. There we go. I'm going to enable casting shadows on this light as well. Let's give it a color. Perhaps the shadows could be a little bit a little bit smoother, a little bit softer. So I'm going to leave it at one. Yes, I'm quite happy with this setting right here. 